Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today, if you guys, I'm gonna be bringing you another American Truck Story video. And um, <clears throat> yes, I did get um, so I got out of that black truck and back into my blue one. Um, uh, so what I did is I was hauling cattle. Uh, and then I was gonna make a video on hauling cattle until I decided to buy this stainless steel uh reefer trailer. Uh, so I bought this stainless steel reefer trailer. And obviously I pull reefer now, um, but to be honest, it's a nice trailer. Yeah, it's a nice stainless steel trailer. Um, got the mud flaps right there. Got the toolboxes. Got the toolbox. I have a toolbox on this side and on and on the other side. It actually got lights on it too. Uh, I got some. If I turn the lights off, you'll see it's got like some lights in there. It's a little small round lights. And then you know back here got all of these lights, including lights up there. Um, but it's a pretty nice truck, so I am going to um, pick up here in Burlington, Colorado, going to Pueblo, Colorado, with a load of um, yogurt. So, or I mean, not why did I say yogurt? I don't know. Uh, tires. I, I don't know why I said yogurt. But let's go start the truck and let's get going. Back in the truck. Go kill those lights because I don't think I need those anymore. And also, I forgot to tell you, real quick, let's, let me tell you this, um, <clears throat> this wheel actually lifts up, so it, it makes it a little, e it makes it a little easier to make turns and to back up in the docks and stuff, or just back up in general, because you have that, uh, we have that option to lift that up, so it, it really helps. But, let's get going to pick up these tires and get going down the Pueblo. We're going by the fuel island because we don't need any right now. I just filled up this truck on my way here because it was running low on fuel. Obviously, I still have the nice sounding uh, engine tag to put in there. This, this truck and trailer is awesome. I, love it. I like the stainless steel too. I've always uh, liked the stainless steel reefers. Mm, it's nice. Especially when the sun shines right on it. Almost blinds you. You have arrived at your destination. Yes, I have. Alright. Going to pick up now. Oh, I got it. Back into the spot wherever it is. Got the uh, Thermo King Reefer on it too. I'll show you once I pick up this load. Oh, it's right here. Nice. Alright. How are we going to turn around? Eh, we have enough space.
washers or parking brake or the window. Kill the truck and let's get loaded. <coughs> All right. All right. So like I was saying, this does have a thermal king reefer on it, as you can see right there. That is a thermal king. Right there, thermal king. Or thermo king. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, and instead of having the T, the white T, I I put it to where um the lights are the lights from the carrier reefers. So if it's not running properly or something happened with it, it'll go orange. And if it's running properly, it'll go green. But like I said, I have a dry load right now, so I'm not going to really need that. Um, but yeah, this is... Oh, yeah, I already showed you the reefer. But um, yeah, we're going to get going now. And um, yeah. Please proceed to the highlighted route. So, yeah, like I said, I decided to get this reefer trailer and Pull this instead of you know hauling cattle or <clears> hauling <throat> that flatbed, the black truck. Turn right. I mean, the black truck was nice, but it's not as nice as this. Like this is the outside of it. That you can see that's a whole brake light right there. Well, in case you guys are wondering, yes, I do look at the mirror because uh, the mirror is literally right there. So all I have to do is just look to the left and you're not seeing the mirror. So it, I'm, I'm watching my mirror. Don't worry. Speed limit 75. I'll do 65. I like to do when speed limit is like 80 or. Yeah, when it's like 80, I'll do 70, but when it's like 75, I'll do 60, but I'll just, I just like to, you know, keep it at that speed, turn on the cruise control, and just cruise, just cruise on to my destination. But, uh, yeah, happy Sunday to all you, all you guys, and, uh, ready for the, the week ahead. So yeah, it's pretty sunny here in um, Colorado. Yeah, I, I really like the sound of this new engine that I 
sorry guys, it's not super, super new, but it's, um, it's pretty new, like, I got it about, I think, three videos ago, so that's been, like, almost a month or two, so, I mean, it's, it's kind of new. Oh, we got a way station, let's see if we get the bypass it. That's the only thing, is we're probably not going to get the bypass it. Oh, so, we get the bypass, nice. Oh, I gotta get over, because these people are in the lane for the way station. That's four wheelers. Yeah, I was undecisive. If I said that right, um, I was on the. I didn't know like if I if I pulled flatbed in the blue truck. So obviously I knew I wanted to go back in the blue truck, but I, I wasn't sure if I should go to the blue truck. Or I mean, when I was with the blue truck, I wasn't sure if I should have pulled flatbed, livestock, or reefer. And then I saw this reefer, stainless steel. And I decided to get it, so that's what I did. But yeah, no, it, it's super nice. I, I really, I like I, that. I really like it. I was getting 70. I'm just gonna use the drapery when I go under the bridges. This is sounds good.
Wikipedia. I just really love the sound of something I keep saying. Like, I really do. Especially the drink ring on this. We can do 70, that's alright. A lot of work. arrived at your destination.
All right, they told me just to go around this building right there, like go in there, and then my I should be able to back straight into the building and they'll unload me there. So that's kind of weird. I've never done this before, but we'll try it. I mean, the doors look pretty big, so I, I should be able to get in there. No problem. And unless I can pull through, let's see. I really want this thing. Where did it be? Oh, it's a pull through anyway. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna just pull through. Why waste my time back even when I can just pull it in? Let's just make sure I'm not gonna get anything over here. I don't, really want, I don't want to do that. Oh, no, we just go over here. It should, it should be wide enough to pull it in. Don't get too close to that. Turn it, I'll turn it a little bit late. Yeah, turned it too late. Yeah, that's right. I hate doing this, but... Yeah, I do it. Let's make sure it really works. Yeah, no, we're good. We should be. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'll just back it in. Whatever. I'd rather back it in than mess up my wheels on these poles here. That's what we're gonna do. We have enough room to bring it around. But oh yeah, we were good. All right, we can back it up just a little more. Now this should be a little easier. I mean, I don't mind backing it in. I'll do it. You know, if I struggle too much, I'll have to lift up that back wheel, but I, I think we got it. Yeah, we got it. Perfect. I was going to say I one shot her, but I didn't. Nah. There we go. We are looking good. Still good, still good, there we go. That should do it. That should do it. Alright, let's go and open up the doors, because... Got to do that, so let's uh, go do that. Alright. Oh, I was, about, I was about to say, I, I was about to say, if I put my trailer in that, that would have been done, but 
we're, we're good. We are good. Might be crooked, but it's alright. Yeah, we're a little crooked, but it's alright. And we're just gonna get unloaded anyway, so. Go and open up the doors and, uh, unload. Or let them, or, yeah, let them unload. Alright, so I just open the doors and, uh, and let them unload it now. But that's gonna be it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.